Hello everybody. Welcome to Droopy Pond Plays Minecraft for Windows 10. This is episode 1. We'll be starting a brand new game. New world. Create new world. Let's call it Droopy Pond Plays Minecraft. We'll set a seed down here. The seed will be Droopy Pond. If you want to play along, be sure you spell it just like this with a capital D and a capital P with no spaces. And hit create. Now I tried doing this with regular Java Minecraft and I had problems. I couldn't get the recording done correctly. Had issues with the microphone level. Had issues with OBS lowering my frame rate to about 30 frames a second so I'm just building a tower right here for the first place where I spawned ow I see a horse I'm gonna try and tame this horse real quick if you jump on a horse with nothing in your hand he'll run around and maybe you saw that he made some hearts so he is now tamed first thing to do in Minecraft like any Minecraft game, is to get some wood. Walk up to a tree, punch the wood with your hand. I guess Minecraft Steve has really hard hands because he can punch a tree and make wood out of it. So we got some logs. You can also break these leaves up here. They'll decay over time, but we can speed it up by breaking them and hopefully we'll get an apple to eat from this oak tree or those saplings that are dropping and the saplings can be replanted careful not to fall off there the saplings can be replanted and that makes the trees renewable so I'll just go ahead and break this down as much as I can and there's an apple we got our first food Climb down here and get this other sapling and it looks like we have a cave there but I'm not quite ready to go down into a cave yet I see some things look different on the Minecraft for Windows 10 version compared to the Java version Java version has grass everywhere when you first start when you break this grass, hopefully you get some seeds. The seeds can be planted in farmland. Now it's grass seed, but somehow the grass seed turns into wheat. On the Java version, you can just hold down your click button. That'd be the left click, left mouse button. And just run around and you'll break the seeds break the grass and get the seeds but here in the Windows 10 version for me anyway I'm having to click on each one each piece of grass so I got a few seeds I'm gonna go up here and get some more wood from this oak tree or from some oak tree there's some up there I should be able to get to And this looks like a pretty good cave system to set up in. Don't see the sun. There's the sun. Looks like it's moving towards me. So that must be east. Sun came up in the east. And there's a village off in the distance. That's nice. So I got chickens. I got a village off in the not too far distance. Guess I could go ahead and make some tools to speed this up. I'll put the wood in the little crafting area. I hit E to get to that. E on the keyboard. Now I will place this crafting table down by right clicking. I'll throw the rest of this wood in here. And if you put two oak planks like so, you get sticks. 
I'm going to take my two sticks and make a wooden pickaxe and move this over here and make another regular axe for cutting wood. Then the rest of this I'll just put back. And so I have an axe now and I can chop some trees. I'm going to try to get about half a stack of wood before night time. So when night time comes we kind of need to get inside somewhere. Maybe in that cave we saw. Because at night time it gets dark and the monsters come out in the dark. That is a giant oak tree, so we're not going to be able to get to all of that right now. We could, but I don't want to waste time doing it. Now this wood that we're chopping here can be put in a furnace, which we'll make. And when you put the wood in the furnace and cook it, it turns into charcoal. Well, charcoal can be used to cook more stuff and make torches. Getting plenty of seeds. Here's another cave. Lots of tall grass. See, there's the sun. It's a little past noon. If I could get two chickens together, I could feed them some seeds. Doesn't look like that guy's going anywhere soon. Maybe I can lure him out if I chop some of this dirt up with my seeds. chicken just fell. Well, that's alright. He'll float down. He won't take any damage. He'll probably despawn eventually. But I'm going to grab these pumpkins. And I might as well get them all. I mean, they're here. There's no reason for him to just stay there. If I had an egg and some sugar, I could make pumpkin pie. But I don't, so I won't. I will, however, make a hole. In uh, Minecraft, when you make something in the crafting box, it always has the shape or something close to the shape of the actual item. So here's a hole that has a handle, and up here's the blade of the hoe. If I put another log up there, then I'd have a handle and a pickaxe head and if I move it over here then that's the shape of an axe head but I want a hoe so let's do that now I can take my pumpkins and put them up here one two three four let's do four of them and each one made some seeds and now I'm gonna make a little pumpkin farm real quick I have to hurry and get these seeds down because the farmland will turn back into regular dirt if I don't. Now if you have your farmland near water, the farmland will become hydrated and it won't turn back into regular dirt. We can take these seeds that we got from the grass, plant them here and they can start growing. It seems like the days are a little longer in this Java version of Minecraft, or longer than the Java version. I mean the, the Windows 10 version. The sun's almost down and it seems like I've had a little extra time compared to what the Java version gives. And here's some coal, so let's grab a little of this. 
can mine the coal with your pickaxe. You can also mine stone with the pickaxe and you get cobblestone in return. And the reason you want to do that is now we can make better tools. We had a wooden pickaxe. And we can put these cobblestones up here in the shape of a pickaxe again and get a stone pickaxe. And we can move this one over here and make a stone axe. And those tools will work a little faster than the wooden ones. I'm going to come out here and plant these trees. Put them right there. Now you could run. You move forward using the W, A, S, D keys. W moves forward. A and D move left and right. S will move you backwards. Let's take two sticks. Put two coals on top of them. And each time you do that one time, one stick and one coal will make four torches. I like to keep torches right here in this first slot. Let's go ahead and make eight. And I have two wood planks left over. Let's just make some more. And the reason for that is we can put the torches on the walls, light things up a little bit. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. This is bad. Got a skeleton coming after me. He wants to shoot me, and I don't have a sword to fight with yet. Oh my goodness. Stop it. Stop it. I guess I can fight with an axe. Well, yeah, let's make a sword. It needs a handle, and it needs a blade. So there's the sword. Now we can take this stone pickaxe that we made earlier. See, my hearts went down. Got hit, my hearts went down. But as long as my food sickles are full, I'll slowly regenerate hearts, which is health. Now I can work with this stone pickaxe and it'll go a little faster. It's night time, so I might as well get some coal here. light up this area and that put one right there because I don't want any monsters spawning right here in my temporary house coming to bite me one oak log will make four wood planks you get eight planks and go around in a circle like so you can make a chest Put your chest down by right clicking and you can right click and store stuff in your chest. Here's bones I got from the skeleton. I'm going to take the bones, put them up here, make some bone meal. And that's good for fertilizing your plants. Hey pig, I don't want you to fall in there, but I do want you to die because I need some food. Now I can eat the pork chops raw, got pork chops from the pig, but I would rather cook it. And to do that I need a furnace, and to get a furnace I'm going to need eight pieces of cobblestone. So that should be at least eight now. So on the crafting bench we put cobblestone like we did with the storage box, the chest, and we make a furnace. Now the furnace needs fuel. I can take one piece of charcoal, 
and it will cook the items that I put in there. One piece of charcoal will cook eight items. So I'm going to cook the three pork chops. Four, five, six, seven. When the pork chops are done, I'm going to take these four pieces of wood and put them in the furnace, and that will make charcoal, which I can use to make extra torches. Pork chops are cooked. I don't want to waste my coal, so I'm going to use it to cook something. And the something is going to be this wood that I turn into charcoal. Let's go ahead and make a shovel. Shovel needs a handle and a blade. So now I've got a shovel. Oh my goodness, he's back. Stop it, you creep. Okay, apparently it's dark up here. So I'm going to try to get some more light. That's the sound of spider feet. I think he's outside above me. Okay, that should light things up. The monster spawning in here should not be a problem for a while. I definitely heard a, go a zombie spawn grown somewhere. This is gravel. You've seen the flint drop. When you break a, a gravel, you sometimes get a piece of flint. And the flint is just another item in a crafting recipe. In this case, it can be used to make arrows. But to do that, you need feathers. I don't have any feathers yet. I do have one arrow that I got from the skeleton that attacked me. He was not invited to the party. So I sent him home. Let's see, the moon is right there. So it's almost daytime. I'll probably do one day on each video, one full day and night. I'll just keep grabbing some cobblestone while I'm waiting. Let's see, I got all the basic tools. I got some food. I got a creeper out there that wants to come blow me up. A spider over there. I saw his red eyes. Skeleton. Horse. Is that the horse that I rode earlier? Oh, creeper. Creepers are dangerous because they'll come in and blow up and you don't even know they're there. They're creepy. They creep up on you. Probably going to need this dirt eventually, so I'll just clean up some corners here. And my food sickles are down, so I'm going to eat a pork chop. Yum, yum, yum. Hey, horse. I wish I had some way to catch the horse. It looks like he's just going to roam around. Maybe he'll come in here in a minute and I can trap him. Uh, I know, I'll try to make some fence. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. So I put sticks and planks in that shape and I get fences. Now maybe, maybe my horse won't go too far away and I can put him in a pen. Skeleton wants to shoot at me. So 
sometimes skeletons will drop a bow. And the skeleton dropped a bow right on cue. And it's a power one bow. But it wasn't very healthy. Oh my goodness, the horse just went right by the fence. Well, it looks like the sun is coming up. So I think this is a good time to end this video. Until next time, this is Droopy Pond. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed watching, please leave a like and maybe subscribe. Droopy Pond signing off.